Good morning, Coastal Bend. It's meteorologist Carly Smith. We are talking this next cold front. Actually, I say next. It's really already here. Good morning, Coastal Bend. It's meteorologist Carly Smith. Okay, the things you need to know is the cold front is moving through right now as we speak and temperatures will be falling into the 50s as we head into the afternoon. We will have stronger wind Thursday afternoon. It's already starting to pick up and that will continue through Friday morning. Small craft advisory for now is until midnight. That could be extended, but right now it looks like wind should start to weaken after midnight. We'll have light rain and drizzle in the area now through Saturday morning. Also higher surf will be in play at our local uh, beaches. So four to six foot swells Thursday. Choppy conditions with a six second period are in play. Hello everyone, your current time is 1022 AM. I am meteorologist Carly Smith. It is December 4th and we've got a cold front. So December has been staying on the colder side, at least for now. We have our, our cold front moving through as we speak. So let's take a look at those cameras across the map as we do so. So right here, 63 degrees on our tower camera. Wind is out of the north at 16 miles per hour. So the wind is picked up at the beach at 62. The wind is picked up, our waves are running five feet every seven seconds or so. I don't think they're quite that large here. That's the Freeport buoy reading, but they're going to be picking up as that cold front swings through. I believe the cold front is already through Freeport, so that's a sign of what's to come. Four miles of visibility right now at the beach, so we've seen that improve. It was two miles through the morning newscast. Five miles through Corpus Christi, we've seen that improved at one point this morning. The visibility was down below a mile, so dew point and temperature no longer matching. We also have wind and that wind is really what's mixing out the fogginess. You can still tell though our clouds, our stratus layer is very low. Drizzle is likely. Well, visibility again five miles out ahead of us, but the big takeaway is that the wind is picked up, so that's helping mix out a lot of that fog that we saw this morning. We'll continue to see improvements in our visibility as that cold front continues to push through and our winds get stronger. Alice is still seeing three quarters of a mile visibility, but here's where I'm seeing the front right now. You see the winds really starting to gust behind the front there. Rockport, 23 miles per hour. Sinton, 20 miles per hour. The front is moving through Corpus Christi as we speak. Refurio gusting just 19 miles per hour, but you see Beeville now. The front's been through there for a while. We've got a gust up to 25 miles per hour. That's all out of the north. So here's a look at those current temperatures with the front. Beeville, was 59 during the newscast this morning. It is now 53 degrees. So that is a sign of what's to come. Our temperatures are in fact dropping, whether you believed it would or not. It is happening now as we speak. 57 in Freer, 59 in Sinton. Corpus Christi has fallen. We were around 64, 65 through the newscast. We're now 63, so that's a drop in temperature. Rain has kind of weakened a little bit. We're still getting some spotty showers along the coast. There is still likely going to be some drizzle off and on throughout the day, uh, but I do see a more saturated environment Friday morning. So I'm expecting a soggy morning commute on Friday. But yeah, the front, it's passing through. Here's a look at temperatures turn north. Look at that. San Antonio's down to 51, Houston 51, Dallas Fort Worth 44, Amarillo 29, Oklahoma City 30. We're not going to get that cold. We will not be freezing. And the big reason why is notice that cloud layer moving across, excuse me, across our satellite imagery. So you're seeing the clouds moving from Mexico across Texas toward Arkansas. So that is moving from the southwest to the northeast. That's the direction our rain is going to be coming from and moving towards. That is what's creating that overrunning pattern. That's that warmer air going up and over the colder air coming in at the surface. That warmer air is condensing and leading to clouds and rain in our forecast at least for the next two days likely into saturday morning as well don't forget this is live if you're watching on facebook or youtube you can leave comments as the video is going on i will say i'm only watching the comment section right now on facebook and of course we are streaming if you want to watch this on the big screen on your tv app that's on roku uh apps fire tv 
Apple TV, and I believe even Samsung TVs. You can download the KIII TV 3 News app and watch us anytime. And when we do live updates like this, it will be live on the big screen. And you can also watch replays of newscasts, all the latest breaking news will all be up there. We've got some great local kind of Texas news going on as well as national news programs that air on that 3 News Plus channel. So be sure to check it out. Any rain in the next few hours. So really, Eric, there's a chance of rain at any point throughout the day today. But as the front gets to our south, I think we see a briefly drier period before we start to see this, the atmosphere become much more saturated again heading into tonight and Friday morning. I see a lot more rain into Friday morning and we'll get into that here shortly, but I just wanted to show you uh, what's going on. That small craft advisory you see there on the map, that is going to be through midnight. So midnight, we're still going to be pretty windy and creating that will create choppy conditions at sea. Here comes a ship. I'm not sure if it's a tanker or a barge of some sort, but that's about to enter our port. Always fun to catch that on our Lex camera. Hey, this morning, if you were watching first edition, we couldn't see any of this, right? So we've seen big improvements in visibility as the wind is picked up. You can see the Texas State Aquarium now. You can see the deconstruction of the old Harbor Bridge, and you can see at least where people drive there on the new Harbor Bridge. Of course, the um, stay cables are white, and that makes it really hard to see when it's cloudy, but also when it, there is a fog layer, there is a low stratus layer that I think is blocking or covering essentially uh, the top of the Harbor Bridge, which is always an eerie sight to see when our clouds are that low. If we flip this around to downtown last night, it was a creepy eerie view downtown because the tops of the skyscrapers disappeared into the clouds. Right now it is 63, we do have some rain being picked up at the radar site or at the National Weather Service where our climate data is recorded out at the airport. We are looking at northerly winds, 16 miles per hour now. Those winds will pick up, so 2 to 4 p.m. I think that's when I, we really notice our temperatures getting cold, and additionally, it's going to be much more windy. So you can expect a feels like temperature that's about 5 degrees colder than the air temperature at a minimum. Uh, so here's what you can expect for rain. Now, a lot of the a rain that has a decent shot at accumulating will be moving out of the area into the afternoon but i do think we still see some of that drizzle even like we saw yesterday because we are in that overrunning pattern i will say the atmosphere does look like it dries out a bit before it becomes saturated again heading into tomorrow morning and so you'll see that starting on this model temperatures tomorrow morning will likely be in the 40s and we do see a chance for some moderate rainfall moving in. The time at the top says 10 p.m. That's because the model data stopped and I didn't put the pause point in the right spot. So our model data is still from about 6 a.m. early on Friday, even though at the top it says 10.30 p.m. Here's a look at our small craft advisory. Once again, that is through midnight tonight. Windy conditions are the big reason why. So we'll see those winds sustain out of the north 15 to 20 miles per hour through midnight. And we'll see those gusts around 30 miles per hour through midnight. Beville's already turning colder, Deborah. Your temperature, I believe, is 55 degrees now. Um, so if you walk outside, it's going to be colder than it was this morning during first edition for sure. And lows tonight will fall into the 40s. Okay. Here's the reason for our fog and our, our soggy conditions. So you see this morning we have a decent amount of moisture, but watch what happens as the front pushes through. We do dry out a bit, as I mentioned, heading into the overnight hours. Wind is still out of the north. This is at the uh, 5,000 foot levels of the atmosphere or so, but that changes as we head into Friday and Saturday, we get our southwest flow back. And that's what really emphasizes that overrunning pattern. So you'll see here on future casts, the rain that will move in behind the front, especially tonight. So we see some pockets of moderate to heavy rainfall into Friday morning and then all day into Friday. Friday is looking like a soggier day to me in terms of rainfall. Today is windier. So I mentioned this kind of late on first edition, but blow up Christmas decorations outside, the inflatables. Mm, hopefully you did not air those up this morning because 
they are going to want to blow away in the windy conditions that are headed our way. As far as uh, future caps goes, again, Friday afternoon still looking pretty wet. We will have a chance for some rain early Saturday, and then it does look like we dry out into Saturday afternoon. So by Saturday afternoon, we're starting to see conditions dry out. We really dry out Sunday afternoon and into Monday. That's when our sunshine is going to return. So the big takeaway is temperatures will fall into the 50s this afternoon. They will continue to fall overnight into the 40s. We will not see freezing conditions here in the coastal bend. It will be windy through midnight. The wind sustained 12 to 22 miles per hour, gust up to 35 miles per hour. As we head into Friday, lighter wind, especially into the afternoon, but it will be pretty rainy. And by rainy, I mean it should be light for the most part, but there will be some off and on periods of moderate to heavy rain showers. As we get into Saturday, we start to warm back up. We are going to see essentially what we saw yesterday. The moisture returns to the area. We may briefly have some southerly winds back at the surface, and that is going to allow our temperatures to warm because our humidity is going to be higher and our dew points are going to be higher. So Saturday is turning warmer. Sunday looks warm until that front swings through. Then we'll be really pleasant on Monday. It's going to be one of those sweet winter days where we have sunshine and colder temperatures. It is still looking a little breezy on Monday. I should note that. Tuesday may wind up being my favorite day since the winds will be lighter. Wednesday, a little bit warmer. We'll be back above normal by then. That's going to do it for this live update. I'm going to pull up those weather graphics, the seven-day full, and I hope everyone stays safe, stays warm, and enjoys this colder weather that we've been given. And then we'll warm up a couple of days. Sunday's a little warmer, and then Wednesday also a little warmer with the wind returning back out of the southeast. Thank you so much for watching. I'm meteorologist Carly Smith.